when I first read the book, I felt like it was uh, it was uh, something that uh, you know I, I, I held really close to my heart as far as believing in the story. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm looking for the sheriff. That's my grandpa. You know where he is? He's down at the barn, I think. Show me the way. Well, it, as an actor, it's, it's a little easier for me because uh, you actually have someone that's an example that you can work with. Um, a lot of time when you're given a, a character that's, you know, fictitious, you have to kind of develop it on your own. But uh, it wasn't really the case with Eric. I mean, I, I, I spent a lot of time with him. Uh, we talked a lot about, uh, you know, his, his past. Poppies are everywhere, uh, and this is one of the this is one of the things that I couldn't believe personally when I started on the story. I mean, when I when I got the book, I read it. I thought it was kind of a a, a piece of fiction, you know, and the, the fact that here's this guy that's that's uh, you know this this social worker doing you know having this very difficult job. You know this 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 unsung hero helping children, and he has this addiction to wild opium poppies growing all over this 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 uh, this farming community. And I mean, what what an incredible story! Uh, you know, the, the the most incredible thing is that Eric was able to keep it all together. He was able to to handle this difficult job, but yet feed his addiction at the same time. And I was just blown away by it. Do I need more information? You can address my attorney. That's fine. What's your attorney's name? Just talk to Sergeant Jorgensen or Sheriff Wilcox. I'm not talking to Sergeant Jorgensen, Sheriff Wilcox, or anybody. I'm talking to you. This is the life that Eric lived. I mean, this is the true life. And it, as crazy as it was, we didn't water it down one single bit. You're Eric Detzer, right? That's right. Happy Halloween, Detzer. Every time I go up for a Q&A at these festivals, I'm always asked the same question. Were you eating the poppies? And the answer is yes. I wrote the script with a very talented writer, Nick Risch. And when we were developing the script, and you know, the script was completed, it became a part of my soul and I felt like I had to take it to the next level so I never really wanted to act and direct but uh, I, I just couldn't give up creative control it was just too close to to, uh, to, to to me well going home was really was really cool I mean it was especially the fact that Eric and I are from the same area I mean he actually while I was growing up, he was actually working and and uh, going through this this crazy life that he lived. So I kind of had the, the the home base ties to it. You know, I, I knew a lot of the people that he knew. It, it's it's really strange when I talk to him about some of my old friends and and who he lived by and who his neighbors were. Um, they're 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 the same people, you know. In researching uh, and uh, actually uh, checking out the facts, making sure that, that this was true, I, I actually visited some farms that had opium poppies growing in their yard. And uh, we, ended up, we ended up actually using these, these poppies as props in the film. One serious story that I have for you is, is during one of the screenings, a private screening, um, an alcoholic, uh, you know, he informed me after the fact, but he came up to me after the screening with tears in his eyes, and he says that, he, he told me that uh, the film really moved him, and uh, hopefully it helped in some way, you know, uh, 